welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel to my new subscribers my name is Bono my push and to my old subscribers thank you for coming back day one you guys already know the drill you guys know that i appreciate your support so so much and if you're new and haven't subscribed just kindly click the right subscribe button down below to become a part of the hot star family and guys i just wanted to start by saying thank you guys so much for 800 subscribers this wouldn't be possible if you didn't click that red subscribe button down below so i really really highly appreciate you if you're watching this and that subscribe button is gray thank you girl that means you subscribed and you added to the 800 subbies and i thank you guys so much we are on road to 1000 subscribers so yeah guys disclaimer I am here with my son because I don't have any other choice. Uh, my mom is not here. Nobody's here to take care of him. So I have to film with him. He's busy eating an apple, guys. <laughs> exactly. I really don't know how this is going to play out. I hope this won't be too annoying. And if he becomes too busy, I'm definitely going to stop and continue when things are a little bit subtle but guys as you can see by the title we have something really really extremely exciting i'm excited to film this video because i want to save it as a video diary on my channel so guys let me take you a little bit back give you a little bit of context 2018 hey 2018 my girl got me tricked passed my matric with a bachelor 2019 i got lucky to get into university of limpopo and i i'm a student there so for context guys i am doing this course for five years now this is my fifth year because on my fourth year i failed so i want to just put it out there because get over like one two three four get over my first year fourth year and then fifth year again no so first year i i went there everything was fine um second year 2020 in march covid hit and we had to go back home hey yeah, guys so when we got when we got home obviously ish guys we did the whole online situation and 2021 a lot of universities were repatriating their students and they were going back to university so people were living their normal university life even though they were a little bit restricted but at least never sell never sell never sell you know so whereas your girl i was still at home my bazarim didn't allow me i mean it did but because okay what it does is that if you are staying off campus it doesn't pay your um off campus allowance um monthly like your accommodation money monthly like other buzzies but you have to pay for yourself for the whole year and then in december they're going to give you back your money so you have to just find a plan to pay for yourself during the year and then when at december they're going to give it to you so i didn't have the luxury of that but what i had the luxury of is that we have a home in Mamilodi that was not occupied at that moment so i was just like mama you know what because it's not even safe leaving the house alone i want to go and stay there guys if you know me i'm a homebody i love being around my mom i love being around my mom guys i love seeing my mom every day so my parents were a little bit shocked hi mogelo why i no go do that no she guys mommy lodi pitori and we all know mommy lodi hmm it's not make sure guys don't come for me but mommy lodi for me like when i think of mommy lodi that's a scary thought okay but i was just like you know what i'm going there i'm going there i'm going to stay alone at least get location in yana lily lily upgraded in yana guarai so if you want to watch vlogs jacket and mommy lodi i do have them on my channel you can watch them Anyway, 2020, I think I went there in 2021, more my fellow or maybe June, July, somewhere, I don't remember. So I went to stay in Mamelodi. Stayed there. And I was on the yes pill in 2021, guys. I was on contraceptive. <laughs> I was on contraceptive. So I was on the yes pill. So sharp. And then it was treating me well until boom around like boom August September. Started feeling like some weird pains around my um lower stomach and it was no longer 
feeling quite well so i was just like you know what let me just leave it all together and i'm going to find a new contraceptive right <laughs> okay i was like you know what i'm going to find a new contraceptive but i'm definitely leaving this one because it's not treating me well anymore hi guys Lorella, guys Shabu, i'm no longer on contraceptive and i took a long time to get on a new one right november yadla my man and i went to the zoo uh, my man was able to visit me very frequent when i was in mamilodi because he works a lot in pta hey. He works a lot in PTA, even now he's in PTA, so we were able to see each other more often. So, hi guys, Shaprail Zoo. Can I leave vlog here on? Every video that I'm going to talk about, you're going to see it in the description box. If you want to watch it, you can go there and watch. Anyway, so Rail Zoo, guys, came back, and then I was supposed to get my period on the 27th of the same month in November, guys. 37 Delta, I'm not getting my period. Call my man. Dude, did anything happen? Because I'm not getting my period. Talk to me. Talk to me. One one. Herman was like, no man, you're fine. Don't even go there. Because one thing about me, guys, can I look paranoid? So he was just like, you know what? Don't even go there. There's nothing. Let's wait till um month end November to just see if Vela Vela you missed your period. Maybe it's later. So then I'm like, okay, my period is never late. That's number one. I never miss my period. That's number two. But you know what? Let me just give it the benefit of the doubt. Sharp, guys. I just relaxed. I was like, okay, you know what? I remember my fellow of them. Trust and believe that end of November came and my period was not there. That's when I knew, guys. And also, I just started seeing a little bit of signs. Um, guys, you want to decide, man, the red flags, ding, 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 guys, you can't avoid those. I know my body very well. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you, Papa. I know my body very well, so I knew that something was going on. So before I even got the um, pregnancy test, I already just had an idea. Well, okay, you know what? I think I should just prepare myself for pregnancy. Shapo, yeah, December, guys, are a I get holiday. Shop. that's when i took the pregnancy test and it came out positive called my man because i talked to my man about every single thing so i wanted to wait and then get him surprised because he was not here and i let graduation just this year so i was just like okay let me not kill his mood bless you papa <laughs> i was like let me not kill his mood but yeah he's my best friend so i talked to him about everything and i wanted to just talk to someone about the situation so i i ended up telling him sharp he was like you know what it's fine so guys that's the long and the short of how i found out that i was pregnant but let me just take you through my journey okay and then um same december i went to visit my sisters cora steinbeck <laughs> so i went there hi hey guys morning sickness morning sickness morning sickness this little boy morning sickness among i was always dizzy i was always nauseous i remember my sister in love used to just tell me no no hey guys let me attend to him so um my sister in love used to say no drink some lemon water or drink something with lemon and all of that it kills nausea guys i remember my brother's words very well because he was just like don't forget what well, this girl spent the whole year in Mamelodi alone. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> but yeah, I was a little bit scared right there. I shaked a little bit, but he didn't know anything. He was just saying, guys. Rapusha. And then January, my man took me on a vacation. He was like, let's go on a vacation before i don't feel like guilty having to leave a person behind because now if i have to go on vacation with my man we have to leave him with someone so that's a little bit you get a little bit of guilt but then i was still pregnant so he was just like let's go um go out you know on a vacation and just go and relax and you know unwind guys that was like a whole you know we started going for our scan and yeah we just got used to the whole pregnancy situation and 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 so um i think after i think maybe couple my february after the whole vacation 
and then Tefluop decided to call us because it's the fourth year now we fourth year final year <laughs> so but we never know my final my first year trying to buy campus we're on campus they're going to write the examinations there <laughs> guys that time i'm pregnant <laughs> guys i'm literally risking my son to film this video anyway guys i continue um i went back um to turf and i think it was around february february and the experience was actually not nice because i don't have friends there by teflop the only friend that i had was is garabo but she was not back on campus they didn't repatriate them so it was so sad guys i was so sad i was so, so miserable it was not nice i was lonely most of the time and i just didn't have anybody by my corner also i tried hiding my pregnancy just for safety reasons honestly so the whole having to hide my pregnancy was just a lot on its own so but anyway we did it and i passed all of my second semester modules which modules which was so good and it made me feel like it felt like a reward you know it felt like a reward and honestly from there there came june my man came to introduce himself to my family what's about gala bing is introducing himself to my family that you know what i'm here and i'm recognizing that i have a child with this beautiful lady but i'm also coming back for this lady so was for me and he paid a certain amount to make her show her okay you know what recognize me i'm here and i'm going to marry your girl your your daughter and then he paid damages which that was for the pregnancy so that happened in june and same um june i had my surprise baby shower and gender reveal one thing my baby shower was a surprise but my gender reveal was not i mean the fact that i was having a gender reveal was not a surprise but how big and extravagant everything was was definitely a surprise i thought that there was going to be a black balloon filled with the colors of the gender it's either blue papers or pink papers and it's just going to be me and my man popping that balloon and seeing the gender of our child but my man's sister we told her to do that little thing but my man had other plans and she had other plans and they made a whole gender reveal which i'm going to insert somewhere here it was beautiful it was more than i had imagined that's what i wanted and that's what i thought i was having only little did i know that my sneaky sisters were planning something big they were planning a whole big baby shower for me guys which till this day guys i'm still thankful to them it just made so much sense it was beautiful absolutely loved it thank you to everyone that contributed to my special day ah to just coming with a present to just being there to people contributing to actually make that day possible to people planning to people coordinating the whole day it was so beautiful i loved it still love it till this day oh it was beautiful and yeah guys um i had my baby shower and gender reveal on the same day it was such a beautiful day i'm not gonna lie best day of my pregnancy no the best day of my pregnancy was when my man came home to introduce himself and i think that was the second one <laughs> but yeah june was really nice july the 27th came and guys i gave birth to my beautiful son my oh guys i love this boy so much and he's turning nine months soon and i can't believe it guys like i can hold on a long one until this day i don't believe that i have a child till this day but i do have guys and he's so handsome he's such a sweet sweet boy super grateful for him and the first person that i actually told about my pregnancy was my man and then oh i told garabo the second my friend and then the third person was my um 
sister before me, Palesa, and I told her, I was like, girl, I'm pregnant, but I obviously texted, I didn't call, I didn't tell her face to face. There were moments where I wanted to tell her, but I was just not ready because one thing about Palesa, Palesa sees me as a little kid. To Palesa, I can only seven years, guys. I'm seven years old to her. So I knew that it was just going to be a little bit weird for me to tell her but everyone was very accepting honestly nobody gave me weird vibes i told my mom my mom i told her when she was with my big sister and yeah i told those ones face to face because we were having a whole conversation and my mom my mom said something like no nah, i don't care if any of my kids have kids because they are grown i started having kids at the age of 18 18 19 so she was just like you know what as long as you're finishing school and all of that i don't care about marriage if you have kids i'm the happiest hun and she still says that till this day she was like marriage i really don't care if you guys don't get married but i want you guys to have kids and work and support your kids that's all that i want and yeah i told her i was like i'm pregnant and she was like i that didn't take me serious for a while there but told them and they were happy for me everybody was just like girl you are finishing your school <laughs> which ish, guys <laughs> i didn't end up finishing but we are finishing this year so it's not a train smash but yeah guys that's how i told everyone and the rest of my sisters i typed in the family group chat and i was like guys i'm pregnant and everybody was very supportive and till this day guys i am not meant like i've never got vibes of disappointments from anyone from my dad from my mom no one guys till this day um yeah everybody is kind of accepting of the whole situation guys i've been talking for six minutes and kishila wanaka yo this is dangerous anyway so yeah that's how i told everyone i remember i told my mom i was like you have the responsibility to tell your man that i'm pregnant and i told my sister in love i was like girl i'm telling you you better tell your man because i'm not telling your man i feel like i was more scared to tell the males of this family my dad my my big brother and my little brother anyway guys um that's just how the long and the short of how i told everyone and how i found out that i was pregnant and yeah guys i will see you guys on my next upload and yeah um i hope you enjoyed this little story it's not dramatic whatsoever but i wanted to have it on my channel so that's the tea i hope i'm going to record my labor and delivery story very very soon for you guys that is an interesting one that one is the juicy one but anyway let me go and attend to my son and i'll chat to you guys when i see you guys and yeah i'll see you on my next upload besties take care